So this is our Becoming a Woman event, September 25th. We're here at the Sky Lounge. We have girls that are coming up to enjoy this event. They are coming upstairs on the elevator, so some should be coming up shortly, but we're excited about this event. We have some amazing speakers that are going to really sow some tools, skills, and knowledge into our young girls. This is what we need in 2021, so I'm excited about our event. <laughs> what it's going to be. So if you think it's the worst thing that could ever happen is doom and gloom, that's what it's going to be. If you look at it like, oh, I can go to school online and I can do my work in this amount of time. And, but you got to control the things that you can control. Be, be strategic and intentional about what you want to do. You're not going to, all the ladies up here, we will tell you, we all have a different journey. We've all taken different paths. We've all failed at some point. We've all gotten back up at a different point in time. We've taken a little piece and we've chunked that off and did that and, and, and said, okay, let's get there. And maybe it didn't get us as far as we wanted to, but we took another bite. So it's, it's really important to take it step by step, piece by piece. Yeah. So I had to start using this. And that was a hard change for me because fighting came natural. Fighting came easy. Don't let it fool you. I was good at what I did. <laughs> but for me to stay in school and be successful and to be wealthy and to be educated and have a family and have respect and accomplish the things that I wanted to accomplish in life, I had to stop using these and start using this. So just always know whatever you're going through, whatever you fail at, it has a and don't feel like your pain is the end of your life and you gotta die and you gotta quit, give up, cave in. Don't do it. Take everything that you go through and turn it into a purpose. Back at 17, I look back on those pictures of that girl and I'm like, God, I wish I would have told you you were so beautiful then. I wish I would have told you just how bright your future was. I wish I would have told you you was you was all that. I wish I would have told you that as opposed to tearing yourself down. You know, if you talk to your best friend the way that you talk to yourself sometimes, you wouldn't be best friends with that person, right? It's fine to admire, but don't sit back and, and centralize how you operate and how you feel like about yourself based on what you see in those pictures because they're all that's that they're created yeah it's a yeah. creation and it's very intentional everything about this day was honestly life-changing I myself went through a terrible time with my mental health I went through depression I had a lot of things going on in my life for a couple of years and changing my life over the past few years I started my own mental health club and them talking to me was literally something that I could take forever into my life and our culture is we do what we call John Henry and that means we push it down like it's not really happening, that we don't have a problem, that everything's okay. Somebody goes, how are you doing? What do you all say when somebody, how are you doing? No, how are you really doing? What do you say? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Everything's okay. And that's a lie from the pit of hell. event it was absolutely incredible the panelists gave some really really great insight great life advice to all of the young ladies that were here uh, this afternoon I think it's so important that each one of us take the time to pour back into these young people so they can learn from our own experiences we didn't have a journey to get here but here we are we made it you know what and if I don't do my part and give back to somebody else and I have not lived my life right so I'm just excited that I get to share that I get to lend 
a little help along the way and pull my hand out so that you can get a hand up. Today was an amazing experience in that there was so much wisdom that sat on that stage with me. I even learned some stuff and I'm probably almost as old as most of them, but right. so much wisdom, so much knowledge. And what I said to the panel is we got the Rudy to the Tooty cover today and watching the girls and their faces they were just soaking it in like a sponge. So today's experience was amazing. Such a fabulous event. Amazing women on the panel, lots of little nuggets. Even I took some things away. I'm hoping we sewed into the girls and that they got good information from us. I'm coming back again. They don't know it yet, but I'll be back on the panel again soon. All right, thank you so much. <laughs>